Welcome back guys. Welcome back to a brand new video of Mighty Ghost Hack. YouTube channel. So this video will be a continuation of the Angular Performance Improvement Playlist. So here we will look into how to reduce the bundle size. Also, we will look at how to analyze it also. There is some NPM library available. Which will help you to analyze it as well. Right now here on the screen. You will see the local project is running. And this is just a simple project used for the demonstration. And in this project. Data is shown in the Angular material table. Let me show you the local project also. So here on an HTML page. You can see whole data is rendered with the help of only mat table. Which is just an Angular material table component. Now here I wanted to convey that on this project. Only the Angular Material Table component is used. But most of the developer import all Angular Material Library in their component. Even they are not used. This is the most common mistake. Done by many developers which I observed. This happens because when you open the Angular Material Document page. For reference they include all those components in a single file. So what every other developer doing. Just copy and paste it into your local project. So ultimately which creates a large bundle size. So let me show you practically by building the project for production. So here after the build, mainly looks into the main JS file, which contains the all written code and imports. Here main JS file size is 420 kilobits. So make the side note of this main bundle size. Now try for another scenario. Here we remove all unnecessary imports from the project and try. For that let me remove it from this file first. Now let me run this first. And check it is showing any error or not. Looks like the project running well. Also, check into the console. So here also no any error message. Now let's build a project. Now check. See here build size is smaller than the previous one. Which means there is a complete 20% reduction is done. So here I wanted to convey is that some unnecessary imports. Which create a big bundle size. So always remove eliminate the unnecessary modules from the project. Here I take the material module example just for demonstration. Because this is the scenario. Where most developers doing the same mistake. So before you, imports. Make sure you are going to use that. So far we have done with the one step to reduce the build. There is another way is also available. We will look into it in a later video. Right now looks into the npm package. Which will help you to analyze the build bundle. For that first, let me install on our local project first. Here source map explorer is a tool that uses a bundle's generated source map files to analyze the size and composition of a bundler and render a visualization of the bundle similar to what the webpack bundle analyzer does. Here in order to analyze the bundle we have to add a source map in the build for each JS file. So for that just add a single source map flag right after the build command. After this, you can generate 
and launch the visualization by pointing at one of the JavaScript files from your bundle. For example, if we have to look at the main bundle then simply enter the command which I entered. And here's a visualization of the JavaScript file. For the first time, it looks difficult to understand. But try to experiment with this. And it helps you to know which modules are taking a large amount of storage. And which modules are imported from which source. All you need to do just experiment with this visualization. And other important things is don't export the build for production. Which contain the source map. Because here we include only this for analysis. So this is it for this video hope you find this useful. If you have any doubt you can comment out below. Till then bye.